The international push to end the Bitcoin experiment won't ever relent, and neither can those who wish to live in a world of monetary choice. Socialist regulators worldwide wish to curtail Bitcoin's consensus method, proof of work. They are cardholders of an environmental, social, and governance ESG coal, seeking carbon neutrality per the Paris Agreement, which was signed in 2015 to limit global warming. In short, they want to roll civilization back to neo-feudal times. Since Bitcoin poses competition to central banks, regulators have been instructed by corporate special interest groups that the Bitcoin experiment is bad for the environment and must be stopped. On July 16, 2022, U.S. Senator Dick Durbin tweeted his displeasure with energy consumption in crypto mining. Quote, it's time to learn the truth about crypto, wrote the commie. Let's start with the obscene amounts of electricity needed to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Families and businesses in America will pay the price for crypto's mining ventures. It's important to note that whenever politicians discuss, quote, crypto mining as it relates to the environmental toll that they'll have, they're speaking primarily of proof of work cryptocurrencies due to their energy intensity. Specifically, they're talking about Bitcoin. Now, the United States is home to more than one third of global computing power dedicated to mining Bitcoin, and it has turned its attention to domestic miners and their impacts on the environmental and local economies. The move has been at the behest of Socialist Senator Elizabeth Warren, who noted her concern in June 2021 over the environmental toll of proof of work mining. On December 2, 2021, Senator Warren sent a letter to New York-based Bitcoin miner Green Ridge Generation in which she requested information on the company's environmental footprint. In December 2021, Senator Warren sent a letter to New York-based Bitcoin miner Green Ridge Generation in which she requested information on the company's environmental footprint. Quote, given the extraordinarily high energy usage and carbon emissions associated with Bitcoin mining, mining operations at Green Ridge and other plants raise concerns about their impacts, impacts on the global environment, on local ecosystems, and on consumer electricity costs. In January 2022, a committee hearing on, quote, cleaning up cryptocurrency, the energy impacts of blockchain, marked the start of an investigation led by Senator Elizabeth Warren into the blockchain's environmental impact with a particular emphasis on POW and Bitcoin. In January 2022, a committee hearing called, quote, Cleaning Up Cryptocurrency, the Energy Impacts of Blockchains marked the start of an investigation into the blockchain's environmental impact, with a particular emphasis on POW mining and Bitcoin. In January 2022, eight Democrat members of Congress, led by Senator Elizabeth Warren, quote, sent letters to six crypto mining companies, raising concerns over their extraordinarily high energy uses. Also in January 2022, eight Democrat members of Congress, led by Senator Elizabeth Warren, quote, sent letters to six crypto mining companies, raising concerns over their extraordinarily high energy uses. In the letter, Senator Warren evoked the same concerns as in the December 2021 letter to Greenridge, stating she and her colleagues observed, quote, Bitcoin's power consumption has more than tripled from 2019 to 2021, rivaling the energy consumption of Washington State and entire countries like Denmark. Chile, and Argentina. Senator Warren requested information from six companies, Riot Blockchain, Marathon Digital Holding, Stronghold Digital Mining, BitDeer, BitFury Group, BitFury Group, and BitDigital. Questions revolved around their mining operations, energy consumption, possible impacts on the climate and local environment, as well as the impact of electricity costs for American consumers. Let's zone in on, zoom in on New York. On June 3rd, 2022, New York regulators passed a two-year moratorium on proof-of-work mining in the state, citing New York's Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, which requires New York's greenhouse gas emissions be cut 85% by 2050. One section of the bill calls for conducting a statewide study on the environmental impacts of proof-of-work mining operations. Representative Ann Kelly's who sponsored the legislation, wrote, quote, My bill is not a ban on Bitcoin. It's not even a ban on crypto mining. It would not restrict the ability to buy, sell, invest, or use crypto in New York State. You just have to use proof of stake and not proof of work mining. New York City comptroller Brad Lander feared a strain on energy caused by mining. Quote, New York State is reaching a pivotal time in its attempt to electrify the energy sector, and the current proof-of-work cryptocurrency mining in New York State diverges from our goals by increasing our reliance on fossil fuels, oh no, thereby creating additional financial stressors and endangering investments for New York City. The legislation warns of increased mining in the state, oh no, a growing industry. Quote, the continued and expanded operation of cryptocurrency mining operations running proof-of-work authentication methods to validate blockchain transactions will greatly increase the amount of energy usage in the state of New York and impact compliance with the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act. In Washington state, the pressure is not just coming from regulators and politicians, but local bureaucrats too. 
Shelland County, Washington, hiked a hydroelectric power rates for Bitcoin miners by 29%. The miners there once paid a lower high-density load rate for their electricity. No, but no, no, no. Quote, what we did as a commission and what we did as a utility was industry-leading to create a new rate for this type of demand. A Shelland County Public Utility District commissioner told a local news outlet, for mining companies with substantial investments, Shelland County has reportedly approved a transition plan to increase the rates. How nice. Malashi Salcido, CEO of Salcido Enterprises, said the new rate will force him to convert his mining facilities into data farms. Quote, do you really want to be in the business of regulating what kind of processing happens on servers in your territory? In Europe, European authorities want to ban Bitcoin mining too. Of course they do. Swedish financial regulators in the European Commission considered banning proof of work according to documents published by a German website, netpolitik.org. Released under the EU's Freedom of Information laws, the documents showed that at a November 2021 meeting, Swedish financial and environmental regulators and the European Commission's digital policy arm discussed banning trading in proof of work cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. An unnamed attendee didn't, quote, see the need to protect the Bitcoin community, noting it should be nudged towards the more environmental friendly proof of stake as Ethereum had been. The documents had been in part redacted due to a, quote, ongoing decision making process. According to an anonymous decrypt source, there were two alternative compromises related to the watered-down version of the bill on unsustainable protocols, all of which were rejected. Quote, the proposal that caused all that mobilization will not be part of the final text, the source added, referring to the widespread opposition to a proof-of-work ban. Furthermore, the European Green Party tabled yet another diluted version of the original text. Quote, crypto assets shall be subject to minimum environmental sustainability standards with respect to their consensus mechanism used for validating transactions before being issued, offered, or admitted to trading in the union, the revised proposal read. Bitcoin versus essentially these kind of control freaks, right? Communist regulators, if you will. They're in power all over the world. They're fascists too. They want to ban Bitcoin. Being the gaslighters that they are, they'll tell you that they are not banning Bitcoin, only proof of work mining, because Bitcoin can adopt a proof of stake and just be a completely different thing altogether, but it'll still be Bitcoin. Don't worry, just make it happen. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Gold Silver Bitcoin News, and have a great morning, day, or night.